Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett with HardOCP.com and today we're looking at the EK Supremacy Evo Threadripper Edition water block. And uh, we had reached out to EK to um, see if they'd get us a sample and uh, they told us since we don't publish their press releases and give them free advertising on our news page that uh, they wouldn't do it. So what we did, we went out and bought one. So this was bought used from a gentleman on the hard forum and this is the block here, so we got it in yesterday, and I wanted to do a, show you the unboxing, show you the uh, show you the block itself, and we're going to break this down as well. Um, this looks like a really great piece of equipment. It's really well built. I love the way they do the uh, the uh, hold downs for the block, and obviously let's flip it over here and give you a look. And it's quite 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 pretty but what we wanted to do was get it taken apart and show you the inside of it and also since we bought this used we wanted to uh, make sure that there wasn't anything any debris or anything else inside the block itself before we started using it that might impair its ability to cool well so just a little due diligence in making sure that our equipment is up to par let me see, I can, uh, can bring you in a little bit closer there and you can see this block a little better. There you go. I like uh, the, uh, the hold down system. It's kind of like the Bixky block. Uh, I think I like this better. I have not actually used it yet, but just looking at the way it's designed, I think I like it better than the XSPC block. Although the, XX, the XSPC block performs quite well. Okay, so we're threading that off there. So, let's see first. Should lift off. There we go. Okay. So there's our flow plate. And you see this one is totally empty with nothing in it. I know the gentleman we bought this from bought two of these. I know he used one and wouldn't impress the performance. So... A little liquid there and that looks to be uh, some sort of oil which is probably just used to seal that o-ring on there that's almost that's like razor blade thin wow be careful with that I'm used to those being a little bit more solid Let's see there we go pretty I like how this is constructed this is acetyl plastic this all feels good Looks well finished. So there's a block. Let's uh, get our frame out of the way. Yep, get that out of the way. There we go. We get a little bit better light down here on it. Let me bring you in tight. The fin pattern there. This is one of those things where I can see it better on screen while I'm editing the video. So you can see the micro fins. So that's a pretty, that's a pretty uh, plain design there. All right, so for comparison's sake here, let's uh, look at the size of this block compared, say, to uh, the actual Threadripper processor itself. That is a 1950X. And so we can see, let me make sure this is zeroed out. So we're zero there, so our surface on our Threadripper is right at 68. This is right at 68, so it is going to cover fully. But you look at the actual fin pattern here and we've only got let's let's call it 33 we'll round up so we got 33 millimeters across the fin pattern by that's it looks pretty much square so let's call this 33 by 33 millimeters so let me show you this so here is it's going to be kind of hard to show you but we can get some eyeball measurements here so we go back and look at the microfin pattern 
on our XSPC Raystorm Neo thread ripper block. We're looking at the cooling fin pattern being about 53, about 53 millimeters across. That way, let's look at it. And about 46 millimeters across. So, so the micro fins on the, on the uh, EK are tremendously smaller surface than uh, what we've seen on the Bixky and the Race Storm from XSPC, which has performed so well. So, all this said, uh, the gentleman that sold us to us, like I said, he bought two of them. He said he, wouldn't, he wasn't uh, happy with the performance. And this may be exactly the problem right here, if there is a problem. So we're going to get them tested this week, and uh, we'll let you uh, know as soon as we know, and we'll get a review written up. This is Kyle Bennett with Hard ACP.